On the 22nd of November, 1963, President Kennedy was assassinated as his motorcade made its way to the Dallas Trademark. There has been an attempt on the life of President Kennedy. It is true. Our president had What if technology had advanced so much so as to allow JFK, on the centenary of his birth, to finally deliver the hugely important trademark speech. As part of the Times Find Your Voice campaign, we had to review 831 JFK speeches and interviews and create a database of 116,777 phonetic sound units split into 233,554 half phones. To blend small speech units together, it helps to have very consistent data. For JFK, this is a major challenge. It was almost as if each recording was in a different environment and of a different quality, so combinations of sounds were selected and smoothed together by months of painstaking sound engineering, allowing us to finally hear the trademark speech delivered in JFK's own voice. In a world of complex and continuing problems, in a world full of frustrations and irritations, America's leadership must be guided by the lights of learning and reason, or else those who confuse rhetoric with reality and the plausible with the possible will gain the popular ascendance with their seemingly swift and simple solutions to every world problem. We tracked down people who were waiting at the trademark that day and played it to them. We asked, therefore, that we... It gave me chills just to hear his voice again. Oh, gosh. Data usually sharpens a story, but for JFK, it made it possible to actually tell the story and allowed over one billion people to finally hear JFK unsilenced. Since the launch of JFK Unsilenced, this audio technique has been adopted by numerous companies around the world to help ALS sufferers refine their voice.